algebras, I forgot to read all of the directions. So my bad, I'm creating a second video, hopefully we can get through it quickly, um, but we need to describe the end behavior of each graph as well. So I'm going to make a quick little template for you that will work. All right, if it is even and positive, the end behavior will be as x approaches negative infinity, y would approach positive infinity. As x would approach positive infinity, y will also approach positive infinity because the y values will be going up. If it is even and negative, I think it's lagging, the graph's going to go down, so our y values are going to go down. So as x gets smaller, y will also get smaller. And as x gets larger, y will, al will get smaller, so it'll go towards the negative. If it is odd and positive, as x gets smaller, y also gets smaller because we're going down on the left side. As x gets bigger, y will also get bigger because we're going up on the right side. So our x values are getting bigger, our y values are getting bigger. And last, if it is odd and negative, as the x values get smaller, the y values will get bigger. Because on the left side of the graph, as the x values get small, the y values are going up. They get bigger. And as the x values get bigger, the y values will get smaller. Because on the right side of the graph, as the x values get bigger, y values get smaller. So I would pause this real quick and write down this kind of a guide. So number three, my end behavior answer would be as x approaches negative infinity, y would approach positive infinity, and as x approaches positive infinity, y would approach positive infinity. So as our x gets smaller, y gets bigger. As x gets bigger, y gets bigger. And number five, as x approaches negative infinity, my y values are getting bigger, so it will approach positive infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, my y values get smaller, so y would approach negative infinity. So as my x values get small, my y values get big. As my x values get big, my y values get small. All right, so if you could just add that to the bottom of each of your graphs, that would be awesome. Again, there is your general formula that will work for all cases. Happy mathing. Sorry, I forgot to put this in the first one, um, but I guess splitting up a long video into a shorter video is better. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, put a thumbs up in the chat if you watch this, just so I know. Thanks, and have a great day. Happy mathing.